Hello, how are you? Welcome so much to our YouTube channel. My name is Amina Ramazani Haigai and people here call me Mrs. Finance. Uh, today it's a continuation of our how to start a financial fit life in 2023. Remember we have already recorded uh, two steps for you to follow. We've recorded step number one, which is uh, how to, to calculate your net worth. And then we've, we've done step number two, that is interpreting your financial behavior behind your net worth. We said that when you calculate your net worth, if it gives you a, a good net worth figure, if it gives you a negative net worth figure, or just a break even network, network, network figure, that means that it is communicating something to you. It is telling you something about your behavior. We discussed that in step number two. And if you want to know more and you want to learn how your personal behavior and trait is affecting your financial life, please go and watch our video, step number two. Today, we are going to bring to you the step number three. And step number three, it's all about determining your why. Having your why. Why do you want to start building on your financial success? Why are you interested in getting a financially fit life? Why? What is your reason? Where, where are you getting that push to start? Because I want to think there are some other people out there, but they are not even interested. They don't even know there is a financial fit life to start or to, or to, to, to wish to have a financial fit life. But for you, you are watching this video, I'm sure you have something you want to learn. There's something you are aiming in your financial life. But my real question to you is, what is your why? Why do you want to become financially fit? What is driving you to become financially fit? There could be so many reasons out there. There could be so many reasons as to why you want to start this life. And maybe one reason can be you want to be financially fit by the time you you reach to a certain age. Maybe you say, if I, want, um, I reach 35 years, I want to achieve this and this and that. So... You, it could be any reason or maybe your reason is you want to retire early you want to retire when you are 40 or probably when you're 45 or your reason could be you want to live a happy life in retirement you want to live a life that you're not depending on your relatives you're not depending on your kids you're not depending on any government support you are living a comfortable life in your retirement maybe you want to travel the world that when you retire, you want to use your time to travel, to do the things that you are, net, you are not able to do when you're still working. Because maybe you had very tight schedules, you had very tight uh, timetables, you could not do much with your time. But no, because you've retired, you have the time and maybe you're in good health and you want to travel the world. Or maybe you want to get out of debt. I'm telling you there's some people who are swimming in debt. You have debts all over because you've borrowed from every point you can borrow from. It's reached a point you cannot even borrow Peter to pay Paul anymore. So maybe your wish is to become debt free. Maybe you wish that by the end of 2023, I want to be debt free. Maybe that's your reason. That's why I really want you to find your why. And the reason is when you have a strong why then you are you will be able to commit because here we are looking for commitment we are looking for for the drive you know we are looking for a long time drive you must have that long time drive and that will only be possible if you know your why and when your why is clearly defined you know maybe you want to have a uh, hundred million in your savings. Maybe you want to have 50 million in your emergency fund. Or maybe you want to, 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 to start real estate. You want by the time you're retiring to have four, five houses in your name that you're renting out. So when you have your why, first of all, as, as I have said, it will help you 
to have that drive and then it will help you to stay committed because some people start the journey today they're saying like today i'm starting and then they go to a certain bank and open an account and then they dedicate that account towards a emergency fund and they save only for two months and on the third month they go and withdraw that money and the whole essence of an emergency fund dies there and then so it will help you stay committed to the cause and because we are human beings a lot of things happen in our life our life is not a stagnant thing it's a thing that happens differently every day so we come across a lot of emergencies we come across a lot of situations that really want to take us out of the focus but when your your why is very strong you will resist the temptation to get out of your plans to like to to liquidate your financial plans it will not allow you that's why it's very important to have your why I want to ask you and plead with you that before we even start the actual plans now to start the journey have your why and if it's okay with you please write it somewhere down in your diary and if you want to really put it out to yourself you can put it in your vision board if you have a vision board eh, put your why there you can put it somewhere in your bedroom that every night you go to bed and every morning you wake up you've put it somewhere you can see it it reminds you that your why is this and this and this that will help you stay in shape that will help you remain disciplined that will help you always to make the best financial decisions all in the efforts to make sure you are meeting the reasons for your why so in in this day, i don't have much to tell you other than to tell you to go and determine to go and establish the why for starting your financial fit life in 2023 we are not going to progress we are not going to see tangible results if we don't have strong whys whys that really keep us on our toes whys that really makes us make right decisions all the time in order to feed into our why the wise that cannot let you misbehave the wise that cannot let you behave anyhow with your money so in this step it's just simple go and determine your why if you have your why already well spelled out well written down then congratulations but if you don't have please go and have your why thank you so much and i want to see you next time when you come to watch step number Four, please come with your why in hand. Please come with your why written somewhere in your diary. Remember I told you in this series we are going to be studying this series with our diaries and our pens. So I hope you have a diary somewhere. Write your why. The next time you are coming to watch the next episode, make sure your why is somewhere written on top of your diary where you can see it the moment you open your diary or your notebook, then you see your why. Thank you so much for listening and please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment tell us if you already have a why for your financial life and then i will see you again on the next one bye